Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! Good morning, everybody! I'm in my driveway, and what do you think I found? Look at that, guys. That is a bear track. And we are at the top of the driveway near our gate. And it looks like we had a bear travel through here. Here's one. There's another one. And I found one out here further as well, so it did travel down the driveway a bit. And this is on top of seeing our first wild feral hog near the property and then seeing the feral hog tracks in the driveway when we got home from running errands so bears and tigers oh my oh my yes we are dealing with some interesting stuff and as you can see my driveway is still a flooded mess nothing we can do about it now a little information i'm in florida as you all know if you've been following me for a while, you know we're in Florida. And black bears are very common here in Florida. And if you watch any of the Florida news, you see once in a while they climb a tree too close to a residence or a college. And they sedate them and they relocate them. They have a very limited bear season here. Last year, or the year before last, I believe it was, they chose not to open up bear season. When they do, they only allow like 300 kills because they do not want to deplete the bear population. It took years to recover. And now it's just, um, management is, uh, the cons conservation management of bears is pretty strong here in Florida. Is this bear a danger to us? Absolutely not. I know some of you are gonna say, yes it is. I'm gonna tell you, no, it's not, and here's why. Bears are more afraid of us than we are of them. This is not a grizzly. This is not a Kodiak. This is a simple black bear. And they are not a danger to us unless we get between it and its cubs. Now we do know there's a resident female bear in the area that throws twins every few years. The hunting club down the road has um, been tracking her movements and her activities on their property. She is very destructive. She gets into their deer feeders all the time. So, and the, she actually has caused in one season over $1,000 worth of damage at the hunting camp. But it was damage caused by them feeding deer. So she was going after the feed, not the people. She's never approached the people to our knowledge. Mosquitoes are horrible. But I wanted to share this with you and I'm gonna add to this video a clip I took of a wild feral hog just down the dirt road from our driveway and I did not record his tracks but when we came home that day we have to walk the driveway to get back in so we're limiting everything we do because of our driveway and I did see hog tracks back the driveway now one of the differences that I know of hog tracks versus a deer track is the hogs feet spread a little bit more where a deer will be like this a hog will be a little more spread and um, that's what we've seen. And we are familiar with wild feral hogs. We know to be very, very careful. And we are definitely packing. We are locked and loaded if we need to be for the feral hog. Not so much for the bear. A lot of loud noise, which you, you hear I'm talking loud because I don't know where this bear is. This track is not fresh. It's probably been here since yesterday. But that bear could be sleeping in these woods. You can see, I can't see in there. She could be anywhere. If it's a she, it could be one of her cubs that have left the, the family unit. Because as a bear's cubs leaves a family unit, they will have to find new territory. There are, right now I would say there's a lot of food out here for a bear. Because there's a ton of blackberries on this property. But it's usually our blackberry patch is all the way to the back and it comes up this side a little bit here. So I'm not too worried. In fact, I love bears, guys. I know, crazy. I love snakes. I love bears. But it is what I am. I grew up respecting wildlife as much as hunting. I respect them. I just was tickled pink. Do I get concerned? It's always something to be aware of what's on your property. This is a predator. And it is an omnivore like us. It'll eat fruits, vegetables. Loves corn. What do we feed our animals? They get scratch and stuff, so there is corn, which could be drawing this critter back here. Time will tell. The big test will be if it starts getting into feed cans, and then we'll have to scare it off. 
But you know, a couple loud firecrackers would do that without having to harm the bear at all. The bear, I don't feel, is going to be a nuisance, but time will tell. We've had nuisance animals here in the last year, so we will see. But I had to share this with you guys. It's a bright spot in what's been a very gloomy two weeks for me right now. So I'm super excited. I love wildlife. I love to be able to observe wildlife. Yes, even alligators at a distance, a safe distance. So I just had to share. All right, guys, hang in there. There's going to be another video attached to this one about a feral hog that we saw. I hope you enjoy, and God bless. Hey guys, check him out. That's a wild feral hog. He was in the middle of the street and we can walk him up. He's, and this is just down the road from our property. He's just hanging out there. It's a little dark. It's hard to see him, but he's there. He's got tusks that I think are at least two inches long on that snout of his. Wow. Don't know if it's a girl or boy, but he's there. Look at him. Wow. I hope you can see that, guys. He's moving back towards the road, Jim. Wow. Alright, just had to bring you that little update. We never know what we're going to see along this road. <laughs>